Um, well, he lived in number 24, which is now the hairdressers. He must have been there probably 40 years, 30 or 40 years. Uh, not always in that house. He was um, he was in the Crescent for a while. He went to St. Martin's School of Art, first of all. He lived by uh, doing handiwork for my father when he ran these buildings and um, building stage sets. So he did an exhibition that was exclusively devoted to banana skins. <laughs> in the basement here, it's kind of a little studio. Not in this one, but in the basement of 24. They've got, it's now, um, they've got a, a beautician working downstairs underneath. After his death, his uh, friends came in. There's, you know the potter up the road? Val is the potter. And her husband, uh, Tony, um, came in and helped fire them. Uh, there, was, there was a kiln he, he used, and they mm. did them in batches. He would get you know, quickly bored with things, uh, move on to the next topic. And uh, so when he died, uh, his ashes, um, this comes from the A. Florum, uh, and his ashes are in there. Okay. So, um, in fact, I wanted to put those in our garden, so I might not do that. Oh. Love these wooden ones. Mm. Great. I don't know exactly when, when you know, each of the items were made. Some of them are dated. But, um, we, we should maybe arrange another time to, to make um, a kind of more detailed. So, so it started off, I wanted to, to find a new profession. I've been a chef for 30 years. So I thought to myself, okay, it all looks really nice on a plate. And the way, and the, way the style of cooking was going was that it was all, all towards plated desserts. And I'd been doing silver service for the last 20 years and then we started to do plated. So, and we was doing all the designs on the plates, all the nice decorations and all the rest of it. And I thought to myself, well, why am I going to waste time doing this? So I thought, what I do is I just leave the job because I haven't really got in anywhere, and I create my own work. It would start off as something small, and then it would just start to extend, like like you would do, like like when you 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 put a rose somewhere on your body, and then you you like it, and then you want to extend it, and you want to extend it and extend it. And so all the art is an extension of an extension of an extension. Like it's like you try to evolve whatever you put on canvas, and by the time you finish your canvas, it's like you've got a whole story there. Because this is like this is almost like a lifetime's work. And look, even you look behind the sofa. And there's so many more canvases, you know, and they're, and they're the they're the really big ones, yeah. And it's like 
Well, if that's if that's just like some of it, 